Hi there. Welcome back to my channel, Zen Yin Yoga with Michelle. Um, and welcome to our autumn equinox before us. I'm so excited. It's my favorite time of year. And uh, so we're just kind of guided to create a, a class around the autumn equinox, uh, just kind of a gentle, slow flow um, practice and the focus being around kind of just moving the body and flushing out, um, flushing out summer and just preparing um, for our autumn. And I want to incorporate a poem and I also am going to burn some sage and light some incense, um, setting the intention for, for myself, for our class and uh, for you as well. So if you would like to incorporate doing any of these practices, uh, please go grab your sage, your incense, um, maybe have a journal with you and a pen in case you want to jot some notes down as we go through our practice. You know, maybe an intention comes up for you uh, to set for the season ahead and um, just whatever kind of you're intuitively feel, feeling called to bring into your practice. All right, so if you wanna go grab that, I'm just gonna grab my stuff and get ready to read the blessing and you can pause and, um, and we'll meet back here on our mats. All right. So I'm just gonna move my tray over here where I have my sage and uh, my incense. And I think I'll read this first. So autumn blessings. I welcome all the energy of autumn into my life. Autumn is a time of transformation and reflection. Like the leaves falling away from their branches, my life flows and changes peacefully and all at the perfect time. I take time in autumn to reflect on my life and where I am going in it. I have a clear vision of the changes that I need to make so that I may continue to grow in my highest good. I enjoy the cooler weather and all the changing colors that are unfolding throughout nature. With grace, I let go of anything that is no longer serving me positively and I make way for many new blessings. This is a season of warmth and gentleness, a reflection of my inner self. That's so beautiful. That is by Carly Marie. Thank you, Carly Marie. So with that intention, of letting go of which no longer serves us and just cleansing the energy of that. And you may have something come up for you as we go through our practice. Letting that burn and also light some incense. And then I'm just going to move that off to the side. And let's get started. Um, gets in an easy seated pose. No props are needed for our practice today, unless, of course, you feel you want to bring some in. That's always, there's always that option, right? Yoga is, yoga is all about working in the way that works for your body. So even though I may not incorporate any props, that does not mean that you, uh, that you're, that you don't need to. Okay. All right. So let's just get started rooting down through the sit bones, lengthening up nice and tall through the spine, through the crown of the head. And intuitively, whatever you need today in the uh, positioning of your hands. So maybe you have the palms facing down for grounding or you have the palms facing up for receiving. So whatever you feel you need at this moment. And let's take a few rounds of cleansing breath. So inhaling through the nose all the way to the belly. 
take an open mouth exhale as you exhale exhaling all the air out gently pull that belly button towards the back of the spine and inhaling through the nose open mouth exhale and once again And then just returning back to the natural flow of your breath. And taking this time to just fill into the body. Noticing your energy. And depending on what time of the day that you may be doing this practice, you know, your energy might be very different. So if you're practicing in the morning, maybe the body is still awakening. Or maybe you're you know, excited to come into this new season and you're having this rush of energy. Or maybe you're in the midday, or maybe you're at the end of your day. Not making anything up about your energy, just simply being in awareness. allowing yourself to arrive here in this time for yourself this time in preparation for your beautiful fall season fall equinox Let's bring the hands to the heart, stacking one over the other, taking a cleansing space here in the heart space. Tuning into the heart. reflecting back over the past few months over the summer reflecting back and bringing your awareness to areas that where you really shined, where you maybe stepped out of your comfort zone. Giving yourself love and gratitude for those things. And now maybe coming to 
some areas in your life that maybe you wanted to step out a little further. Maybe you wanted to emerge into a certain area of your life, but for whatever reason, it didn't manifest. And just loving that. Not putting any shame or guilt or anything dark and heavy on it. Just being in awareness. And just noticing how the body feels as you focus on both areas, focusing on the things that you did, that you're proud of, noticing that energy. And then as you bring your attention to any area where you felt you kind of held yourself back or you were held back for some reason, and just noticing the energy around that. not making either one right or wrong, not making either one better than the other. This is just simply the practice of being an awareness. And if you're having any negativity come up around either one, I invite you to bring that into your practice. Let's take a few more breaths here. Let's take a cleansing breath. And then releasing the hands down. You can keep your eyes closed and just switch the crossing of your legs, whichever foot was in closest to you, bringing that out in front. If you need to extend the legs out and give them a little bit of movement, a little bit of flow, go ahead and do that. And then coming back when you're ready into your easy seated pose. And we're gonna to begin to just bring some movement into the body. So taking a big inhale to lengthen up nice and tall through the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, drop that right ear to the right shoulder. And then gently bring that chin in towards the right shoulder. And then bringing the chin all the way to the center of your chest. Bringing the head back up to center. Inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Gently tucking the chin in. Rotating the head to center. 
Bring the head back up. We'll do that one more on each side. And just feeling into the body. Notice anything that's a little tight, a little stuck. Turning the chin in. Bring the chin to center of chest. Inhale, back up. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Tucking the chin into the chest, or excuse me, the shoulder. And then bringing the chin all the way to center of chest. And now beginning to take these little half circles. So now bring the right ear all the way to the right shoulder. Bringing the chin back to center of chest. And then over to the left ear. Inhaling as you come to center. Exhaling over to the right side. Inhale to center. Exhaling over to the left. And then just creating your own flow here. Whatever feels good for you. Keeping the focus of moving anything that's been stuck here over the last few months. Creating space and giving the body permission to release this. So we create this fresh flow as we move into our next season. Now maybe you take a full head circle. You can inhale as you come back. Exhale as you bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, coming back. Exhaling forward. And then reversing, going the other way. Listening to what the neck has to say here, I am definitely hearing and feeling lots of crunching and popping going on and that's very common as long as you're not having any pain or major pinching going on let's just take one more full circle and then we'll end with the chin into the chest letting the head be really heavy stay in integrity with your posture let the shoulders soften down the back Releasing any tension in the jaw. Maybe it even feels good to kind of shift the jaw, open the mouth, shift the jaw side to side. And then let's take a cleansing breath. Slowly bringing the head back up to center. Good. Let's just extend the legs out. Give the legs a little shake. Mm. Good. And let's just take some shoulder rolls here with the legs extended. So just bringing the ears, excuse me, the shoulders up to the ears. And as you exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, shoulders come up. Exhale, back and down. Inhaling up. Exhaling back and down. Good. And then this time we'll reverse going the other way. So inhaling up, exhale, they'll come forward and down. Inhaling up, exhale forward and down. Let's take two more. Good. Uh, last one, I think I lost count. Very good. And then we're going to bring the legs back in. We'll do a little bit of movement with the legs. So 
right now just doing some seated poses to make our way down our body so starting up in the neck the shoulders we're gonna do the upper body to the hips all that good stuff we're gonna make our way all the way down just really think of moving moving the energy of um, of summer through the body all the way out and creating this fresh new energy um, with the, the new season of autumn. All right, let's interlace the fingers and then you're gonna press the palms out in front. Good, take an inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna round through the spine, bringing the arms out in front of you, really stretching the arms forward. I'm just gonna turn sideways here so you can see me. Good, then inhale, really lengthen sitting up as tall as you can, reaching out through the hands, and then exhale, coming into that nice round through the spine, chin in towards the chest. Let's take three more of those. Inhale. Exhale to round. Inhaling up. Exhaling. Good, last one. Good. Inhale, come all the way back up. And then as you exhale, bring the arms into cactus. Activate the fingers, activate the hands. The fingers are spread nice and wide. And we'll do the same little motion here, but using the arms. So we're going to inhale, reach the heart, chest forward. Draw those shoulder blades back towards one another. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring the arms in towards one another and creating that same cave um, in arch through the upper back. Good, inhale to open up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale to open. Exhale to bring it in. Let's take two more. Inhaling to open. Exhale, bring it in. Last one. Good, inhale, open the arms once again into your cactus. Big inhale. Beautiful, exhale, we'll bring the hands to the knees and now coming into a seated cat and cow. So hands on the knees, take your inhale, reach the heart forward, draw those shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, rounding through the spine, chin in towards the chest. Good, inhale to open. Exhale. Let's take two more. Good, coming all the way back up to center. Let's switch the crossing of our feet once again. I'm gonna turn myself back around. And now we're gonna come into uh, Sufi rolls. So, You'll inhale as you bring the upper body forward. And then as you begin to come towards the back, you'll take your exhale. Inhale as you begin to come forward. And exhale as you bring it back. And taking this as slow or fast as feels good for your body filling in to the entire flow here. So filling it in the legs and the low back, the mid back, the shoulders, even in the uh, intestines and organs. This is really good internal massage. Next time you come forward, then reversing, going the other way, taking that inhale, exhaling as you come back. Yeah. 
And let's take two more full circles. Good. Then as you make your way back, just uh, make the circle smaller. And beginning to just make the movement from the waist, from your core, slowing it down more and more, and coming right back to center. Let the shoulders soften. Take a cleansing breath here. Filling into the energy. Energy through the spine. Energy through the hips. Wherever you may be feeling this. Let's take one more breath here. We'll be opening the eyes. Let's come on to our hands and knees into tabletop. So we'll make our way through a few rounds of cat and cow. Hands are active, fingers spread nice and wide. Shoulders are aligned over the wrist, hips over the knees. Taking your inhale to drop the belly, reach through the spine, tailbone up, heart forward. And then exhale, pressing it away. Chin to chest. Good. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, pressing it back. And then finding your flow here. Continuing to let that energy that you've already created flow into other areas of your body. Giving the body permission to release anything that's been stuck or stagnant emotionally, physically, mentally. And if there is anything already that you know you do not want to take into this next season, give it permission to let go. And now maybe you begin to bring some other movement here. You can sway the body side to side. You make full circle with the upper body. doing whatever feels good here, making sure that you do it on both sides to create balance. And then maybe it feels good to rock forward, bringing the shoulders over the wrist and then coming over to the right side Send those hips back towards the heels. Make your way over to the left side and then coming back forward, shoulders over towards the wrist and just making this nice full little circle here. Inhaling as you come forward, exhaling. Always good to take some open mouth exhales, especially when we're doing movement Let the body cleanse. And then reversing, going the other way. And you can always place um, some extra padding underneath the knees if this is a little bit too much for the knees. Okay, I'm just taking a few more rounds here. And 
last round. We'll all meet back in our tabletop. That was great for the wrist as well. So let's give a little bit of extra flow to the wrist. So we'll just lift that right hand up and just take some wrist rotations. You can even kind of shake the hand out. Good. And we'll move over to the left hand, doing the same thing. Very good. And now coming into a flow of thread the needle. So we're going to press into that left hand. Inhale, reach that right arm up. And then we'll exhale, thread that right arm through. Just bring that right shoulder to the floor. You can bend through that left elbow. And then we're going to inhale, come back up to that opening. So opening up that arm once again. And then exhale, bringing it back through. And inhale to open. Exhale. Right shoulder, right side of the temple or cheek comes to the mat. And then inhale, coming back up. We want to engage the core here to support the lower back. Good. Let's take it one last time, and then we're going to hold there. Holding here in that thread, the needle. You can keep that left hand where it is, or you can extend that left arm all the way out. Pressing into that left hand to support, rolling a little deeper onto that right side shoulder. Engaging the belly slightly to support the lower back. And taking some nice full breaths here, really focusing on breathing into the belly and that right side body. Two more breaths here. Last breath, cleansing, inhale and exhale. And glide that left hand back down, press into that left hand. We'll once again extend that right arm up. Big inhale, see if you can open up even more. And then exhale, bring it down. Very good. Recentering yourself, maybe shifting the hip side to side. Good. And we'll make our way to the other side. So pressing into that right hand. Inhale, reaching open that left arm. Exhale, threading that through. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, bringing it through. Two more. Inhale to open. Exhale, bring through. Inhale to open. Exhale, thread it through. This time we'll hold. Taking those nice, slow, full breaths the belly and the left side body. Last two breaths here. Last breath, cleansing, inhale and exhale. Find that right hand back in, press into that right hand. We'll open up that left side once again. Inhale, open, open even bigger. 
and then exhale, bring it down. Very good. And let's make our way into a downward dog here. So tucking the toes, take a big inhale. As you exhale, press those hips up and back. Mm. And just walking that dog out, making any movements that feel good here. Remember, we want to create movement and flow to allow the energy of summer to flow through the body, especially any areas that may have been stuck or stagnant. So maybe you walk the dog, paddling the feet up and down, move the body side to side, move your head side to side. This doesn't need to look any certain way. It's all about movement, giving your body permission to move here. Let's just come to take three breaths here and whatever feels good for you. Taking a big inhale through the nose all the way to the belly. Open mouth, exhale. Good, once again. Last one. Good, come on to the balls of the feet, bring the knees back to the mat. Untuck the toes, let's come into a child's pose. So widening the knees, send those hips right back to the heels. Walking the hands out in front and resting the forehead down. Taking a cleansing breath. Letting the whole upper body just melt to the earth. And creating a flow here just with the breath. So I want you to focus on sending the breath all the way to the low belly, to the low back, the hips, and then continue that inhale as you fill the body up, all the way up into the shoulders. And then taking a big exhale out the mouth, letting everything soften. Doing that once again, inhaling through the nose, filling the body up, feel the body expand and stretch and open and flow. Open mouth, exhale. Two more like that on your own. Coming back to the natural flow of your breath. And tuning in with yourself. Is there something here that you can let go of? or something here that you know for sure you don't want to take into this next season. And 
Maybe you take some time to be with it, to journal about it. Or maybe you're just really at that moment of really being able to just let it go. Let's take three more breaths here. Big open mouth, exhale. Sliding the hands back down towards you, pressing yourself back up into tabletop. Walk the knees and thighs in towards one another. And then we'll come to sit back on the heels if that's okay for you, if this is um, not so... Uh, beneficial for your knees or for your feet you can always come back into an easy seated pose and let's just take a couple of flows here of inhale reaching the arms all the way up palms of the hands to touch and then exhale bringing the hands to heart center and let's do that three more times inhale reaching the arms all the way up exhale hands to heart Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart. This time, as you do this, focus on gathering up all the beautifulness of summer. And bringing that right down into your heart. Let's actually do that one more time. Inhale. Gathering all of that up. And exhale, bringing it right in. Holding it here, being with it for a moment. Taking a cleansing breath. Good. We'll release the hands down. Just come over to one hip, swing the legs around. And we're going to make our way down onto our backs. Just taking it down nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Let's bring the knees into the chest, taking a few rocks here side to side. And let's extend the legs all the way up, feet towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And just point and flex through the feet, rotate through the ankles. Bring the knees back into the chest, lower the feet down to your mat or to the floor, and then widen the feet a little further than hip width distance. This is going to be our last little flowing uh, movement here. So bring your arms out to a T with the palms facing up or maybe in cactus, whichever feels best for you. And then we're just going to let the legs drop over to the right. Good. Take an inhale, bring the legs back to center. And then as you exhale, over to the left. Inhale and coming back to center. Over to the right and just continuing to do this. And finding your flow here. Whatever feels good for you.
feeling this in the low back, through the hips, through the legs. Just again a few more times, side to side. Good, then we'll meet back in center, walk the feet back in towards one another. Bring the knees back into your chest. Mm, taking a few rocks side to side here. And then giving yourself a big squeeze, a big hug, really hug it in. Big inhale through the belly, or into the belly, I should say. Big open mouth exhale. And making our way into our final pose, Shavasana. So lowering the feet down, extending the legs all the way out, taking up lots of space, lots of space for all of that energy to continue to flow through the body and allowing all of that that was stuck or stagnant to flush through. So we don't want to hold the body really tight. We want to give the body lots of space. And once you get settled, taking a few rounds of cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, send the breath, as far down the body as you can. Open mouth, exhale. Allowing the body to surrender as you feel into the body. Feel the sensations, feel the energy. Allowing the body to let go even more. And I'm going to read the poem once again as you're here in your Shavasana. So I invite you to just close your eyes. Take in the poem. Continue to tune into your body. Autumn blessings. I welcome all the energy of autumn into my life. Autumn is a time of transformation and reflection. Like the leaves falling away from their branches, my life flows and changes peacefully and all at the perfect time. I take time in autumn to reflect on my life and where I am going in it. I have a clear vision of the changes that I need to make so that I may continue to grow in my highest good. I enjoy the cooler weather and all the changing colors that are unfolding throughout nature. 
With grace, I let go of anything that is no longer serving me. Positivity. Positively, and I make way for many new blessings. This is a season of warmth and gentleness, a reflection of my inner self. you have a beautiful, fulfilling, magical autumn season. My prayer is that you continue to allow yourself to reflect, work through anything that's maybe giving you a little struggle to let go of right now. But if it's something that you know that would benefit your highest good to allow to cut the strings from I hope that you allow yourself to work through that. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And hope to practice with you again soon. Stay here as long as you'd like. Namaste.